DMTM the show presents Nerdy Strikes Back. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, Slay J, Monkey D Ambassador here. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate, but we'll find out if that actually is inappropriate. It, it would have been inappropriate if I said Don Flamingo, because that guy's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Don, not with a G at the end, unless the G is silent. We're talking about anime, all the, of course, all the nerdy stuff that's been going on recently. We have a lot of stuff, all the anime that's coming out for July. So Flash, No Hard Feelings, DBZ, One Piece, Bleach, Trigun, Black Clover, Secret Invasion, Star Wars Visions. So that's all we're going to be covering. So let's jump into... Oh, I guess it's for Slay J Reviews, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> The newest movies that I've seen, I've been kind of slacking. I'm sure everyone can relate. They have a life. No Hard Feelings is with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I don't know the other actors in that movie, but it was a, it's a it's a good movie. Um, uh, just to give like kind of like a, a backstory to it, it's like this chick. She her car gets taken away because of her license, and uh, the court orders her to do cus uh, to do community service. Uh, and whatnot so she came up with this she found this thing on craigslist where it's like oh if you date our son we'll give you a free like 1993 buick something (laughs) 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 Um, so that's kind of like the backstory this kid he's he's very anti-social very nerdy um but like a genius when it comes to music like he it um it's is it's that why you went to go see it? You really related to the yeah, main well, character? Well, I related related to the main character for being kind of just a nerdy and uh, a musician. Genius, yeah. Yeah, if you want to yeah. say that. <laughs> um, so basically what happens is she, uh, you know, dates, like, but she, he doesn't know, like, what's going on. It's like his parents put it on because they're the helicopter parents, whatnot. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there, there's a lot of positives in it. You, you know, uh, Jennifer Lawrence is naked, if you haven't heard already. Um, that's been a big controversy because they're saying that there was a stunt double or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, but who knows? Is she saying that there wasn't a stunt double? <laughs> that's the rumors. She hasn't confirmed it or denied it. Oh, so, okay. Uh, yeah, who knows? But um, overall, it, you know, it, it beat my expectations. I had low expectations going in. I just only went because a friend invited me. So I was like, okay, it turned out better than than i expected so uh definitely that's a must see me personally i'm not a big fan of j-law like i just there's something about her that just rubs me the wrong way like she of course she's hot right so you want to like her but like the stuff she just says is like so dumb like there's that meme where she's like yeah i was like the first action female action star nobody did it before me and i know that was like a flub and it was a mess up but it's like She says dumb stuff like that all the time. And I get like, okay, maybe that kind of makes her more like everybody else. Because she was like, she also says stuff like, oh, I hate working out. And I just like eating potato chips all the time. And it's like, yeah, looking like that, I'm sure. Okay, good genes will send you to a certain, send you a certain way. But like, you got to eat right. Because it's like, I have good genes, but I like eating like crap when I'm not at work. Where do you buy these good genes (laughs) at? Jinko. Yeah, Jinko. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, but uh, but it did look funny. And that's the thing is, she's, she is, I do think she's a phenomenal actress. Thing is, you can tell like when she's putting on a good show and she's phoning it in. Silver Lining, oh my God, that movie, she's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Then you watch the X-Men movies and she progressively gets worse. She's right. phoning it in so hard the further that series goes on and you're like, don't even show up if you're going to be like this. Like, why, why, oh, I'm just here for the paycheck. I'm tired of doing this, you know, whatever. And it's like, you're not naked like the other chick who did a way better job at this than you. Yeah. And had no lines, barely. Every, why is it that everyone, and it's not because of the naked. It's because she just had, like, that that coldness to her. She just was awesome. It, it did look like a, an interesting movie. I was like, yeah, this guy, you know, he looks nerdy and stuff. I was interested, but not enough, right? Because I still dislike her enough to be like, I'll watch it if it's on a streaming service yeah. and the wife mm-hmm. wants to check it out. But I'm not going to go out of my way to go see it. Yeah, so I have Movie Pass. I don't know if you guys heard of that. It actually just came back. So it's 10 bucks a month. You get credits. So it's essentially you can see up to 
three to five movies a month for ten bucks, which is that's a steal. You know, I used to have that mm-hmm. back in the day that's when what, they went got themselves bankrupt. Yeah. <laughs> that's when they were doing one a day with the one movie a day. That that was crazy, but it's not as crazy as that. But um, it does seem a little bit better. Like, so no one's gonna go every day. <laughs> <laughs> People are going multiple times a day with I mean, that. multiple accounts. <laughs> what, what I did was really messed up. I had my card. And uh, I, I pretty much bought almost half a theater at Real Rancho for The Last Jedi. I just kept going every day and because it would only look at the price of the ticket. And kept buying more and more tickets for that theater and ended up getting like 15 tickets. Wow. So movie pass, if you're watching, don't listen. He's messing around. Yeah, I'm just joking, of course. He's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> Another movie that I saw was The Flash, and I know this one's had a lot of controversy around it with uh, Ezra Miller. I know I told you this a couple weeks ago, Pablo, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it. It is, it's, it was, it's worth seeing. I could, I could uh, say that it kind of reminds me of like Manus. I, I don't know if it was Manus Steel, whatever the the one off Superman one yeah. was, where he fights Zod. Mm-hmm. That comes back, and it's like. Okay, if I wanted to watch that movie, I'd watch that movie. <laughs> and then also, there's a part where something happens to the powers, and I hate when they go down this route with like people losing powers. It just throws me off because it's been done so much. But overall, I think it's an entertaining movie. If you just go to movies and enjoy them without having to get too critical with them, it's worth seeing. And then as far as The Flash, like that's the thing is, is it looks, for the most part, it looks good. The things that I heard about The Flash are, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen the movie. If you catch the CGI in that trailer, it looks pretty awful. And me, I'm the kind of person that, and I did the same thing with She-Hulk, where I was like, oh, it'll look better in the when it actually shows up. It doesn't. It didn't get better. Arguably worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, right, and that's the thing is, like, you're seeing more of it. And I've also seen, I don't know if anybody has seen, but there's a TikTok out there and it explains as to why that is. And the reason is, is, is because that it's for every shot, they pay for every shot the same amount, but it takes time based on this shot. Mm -hmm. And, and I can understand that as an editor, because I go like, sometimes our audio will be off because of this or that. For example, your mic probably isn't going to be loud enough, so... We'll have to edit this where we raise it since it's close to you and you're not as loud as the rest of us. <laughs> or we could just turn the knob up. That, and it's like, because I had to do that with one of our own. So I was like, I had it way too loud and I had to constantly edit the, and it took me weeks versus something that should have been fixed previously by just having a good looking suit physically in reality. Yeah. Add, everybody knows the best one was Iron Man because you did physical and CGI. You combined them, looked perfect looked flawless right and that's such an old movie too like at this point you're like just do the same thing make an awesome looking suit and then you add cgi elements that's all you got to do or Zack snyder usually has a pretty good role in his movies if if the character has to interact with it it needs to be as close to real as possible or real if it's not then you can uh, have more liberty with it that's why like you may not like his movies but well, they look good. Right. Yeah, true. It looks good. That's the thing is, the, it looks like it's going to be a solid movie. And I've heard both good and bad things about it. Mainly the CGI and that you, if you've seen the, the trailer, you've seen the movie. Which is another thing that goes back to goes back to Ezra Miller. And and I've said this I, I on my TikTok, and then I'll say this here too because people may have not seen it. Which is... Because of the stuff that he's done, and you can go check out my TikTok, or you could just look it up and type up, and and it's, it's, because to me, I'm like, okay, whatever, like, that's the thing is, to me, there's a difference between, like, Jonathan Majors and him, which I go, give him his time in court, right? Like, there's allegations, the journalists can do their investigations and stuff and interview people, and things can pop up, but until it's in court, and he has his time in court, and they decide what they, what it is, then I'll go, okay, you know, that's the reality. I'm not saying he's not guilty. I'm not saying anything, right? But Ezra Miller has already pleaded guilty to some things, and then there's some things he hasn't even gone to court for, and multiple of those things are related to him and kids that are underage. This keeps on happening in different places that you're at, and similar things like a violence in different places you're at. 
It's not just like a one-time thing or like it's more it's the same thing in multiple places that you've been at. That's suspicious. Once again, I'm not saying he's guilty, but I'm saying it's one thing if you're trying to compare Jonathan Majors, he's being treated unfairly compared to Ezra Miller. And we all know why. Yeah. Because he's white. Yeah. Because one guy's white and one guy's black and that's it. You know, that is it. And it really sucks. Honestly, at this point, I mean, if I was if I was Marvel, I'd be like, there is a lot of stuff surrounding this. Replace him with the guy that played Finn. Yeah. I think he, he has the acting chops. He could pull it off, you know, or not. Or wait until it the fallout comes, you know. But if you get ahead of it, you know, then you can still have him in your movies. With the strike and everything, as we've said, like, things are going to be held off for a long time. And honestly, I don't care. I'm for, I'm for the people that are on strike. Screw these billionaires, especially, like, Bob Iger, who's the... One of Disney's like, oh, they're being unreasonable. Oh, yeah, unreasonable? Like, how much money you make? Well, we, we know... They're unreasonable by, like, claiming the reason why your company is almost a billion dollars in the hole because you put out too much content instead of the truth, which is your writers suck ass and need <laughs> to improve. Well, we know... We just know how money-hungry people are, corporations are, I should say, and... We know once AI launches even more than it has, that it will replace... They The companies will just start using AI. They'll buy the .AI software and, or whatever um, and basically replace these people. And, and the writers know this. We already have evidence. Yeah, totally. Watch Rogue One. That's all the evidence you need. Yeah, Rogue One, because um, what's his face? Uh, oh, Pete. Peter Capaldi. No, not no. Peter Capaldi. Moff Tarkin. Moff Tarkin. The guy's dad. Yeah. He was not alive for any of the filming. Yet, there he is. Live and chipper in the movie. I mean, not CGI, th- but it still kind of shows you what they're willing to do. Well, we know that at some point AI is going to start doing CGI programming. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't so. even think that it's that the writers... I mean, sure, the quality of writers do vary, right? The guy that wrote the Quantumania movie, the quality of that movie is not as good as the other movies. And that comic book writer, he's not the best comic book writer, right? Like, that's the thing is, I've seen him on other stuff, Jeff Loveness, and I go, like, the stuff he's done is mediocre at best. You well, know? that and your whole movie shouldn't rely on one character being stupid. Uh, Janet not just keeping her mouth shut. It doesn't really... Well, I mean, there's a lot of flaws with that movie, but... But that's the big one that sticks out, and if you're going in there and it's something so obvious, then then it feels like you're getting insulted watching that. I they s- expect you to just go with it. So I also feel like it's things are being rushed, right? Like, Marvel's rushing to put stuff out, and that's part of it, too. I mean, Disney's rushing, like, let's rush, 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 push mm-hmm. stuff out, put stuff out, put stuff out. And that's the problem, like, with writing, it takes time. Yeah. And that's things, and that's why it's good to have a writing team, not just, like, one main writer and stuff. The best things we've seen are, like, team, like a writer-directors, James Gunn, and I think writer-director, the Russo brothers, I think, are writer-directors, yeah. too. And so, and it's like, those are two guys, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we've seen Stranger Things, like, that's phenomenal. We have a Stranger Things shirt, and it's awesome. It's rushed, and that's what it is. Give it more time. Don't rush this stuff. Even, like, same thing with the CGI. That's all rushed. I've heard with a lot of that stuff, they go, they moved, they'll move CGI artists from Quantumania to something to Star Wars before they're even done. And they're like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. This thing's going. And, well, it's going to lack. It's, it's, you're going to see it. And people saw it. If you think you're going to cut corners and it's going to work, it's not working. I'm just waiting right. for Gun to show up to destroy Marvel so that Marvel has to step their game up. Yeah. Because right now they're taking it easy. Because they can take it easy. You're because right. Because their competition is Shazam 2. You know? <laughs> well, so... that's what they think, but they're starting to pay the price. Like, it's just they need to step up their game if they want to. Well, I, just, I just, if, you, if we kind of go back to Guardians of the Galaxy 3, that should tell us something. Because remember... Remember when they were right? He like wrote the script, and then they were gonna not. Then they were gonna get rid of him as the director, right? I can't uh-huh. remember the whole situation, but it's it's good that the, I, I don't know who fought for him. Or it was the fans or whatnot. The cast. I think it was, it was like, everything. It, yeah. I think honestly, I think everybody because they found like some old tweets where he made some really 
off color jokes about like I, i'm tired of people going child. to old tweets yeah it was like eight years ten years old i understand the whole woke movement but it, come on we just people need to grow people change people do change not I'm not. Everyone, I'm not. I'm but... not saying everyone does exactly. My point is with the Guardians of the Galaxy three, is that whole trilogy of that thing, in my opinion, is the best thing they've they've put out. It's the best trilogy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Be- because of you know Iron Man three, that that was just dog shit. But you know, <laughs> like all you know, well like... even <laughs> Iron Man two like could have been so much better. But Disney being Disney's like. Well, we can't have you do Demon in a Bottle. That's uh, too inappropriate for kids, even though we'd actually be teaching them something worthwhile. Like, yep. about how bad addiction is and how it can control your life, but no. Right, like, they did a light version of that. The best part of that movie they cut out, which is, like, he's throwing up in... Like, I think it was the beginning of the movie, too. Yeah. Like he's throwing up in the restroom, puking his guts up, Pepper Potts is mad at it, and because of that, and throws his helmet, and that's why she does that. Mm-hmm. And Sid just makes it makes her look like she's a bee. And then they show it, you know, throughout the rest of the... You know, at the party and stuff, and you're like, uh, dude's, like, peeing his suit, and they make a joke at it, but it is kind of sad, you know, and pathetic, mm-hmm. but... Like, so they did it, but they did it light, right? Like, so yeah. they could have done better. Three was just, to me, awful. I, I, I actually liked two a lot. I thought it was no, like, two was if good. you watch yeah. two right after one, because one is kind of slow, if you watch it right after, you're like, oh, this flows so good. Well, that, that kind of reminds me of Captain America, you know? It's like um, the rewatchability of Captain America, the first one. Going from the first one to the second one, you're like, okay, the second one's great. Go back to it, and you're like, my gosh, the, the first one was so much better than I thought, you know? Um, Even that jump to third, you're like, I feel like I'm a little lost if I just yeah. followed the Captain America movies. And this just feels like an Avengers light movie. Yeah, exactly. It was it like, the one, like a Captain America movie. one shot. The, it's like a one shot, right? Yeah. Like, off it was of the, the story. Here's how we're ramming Spider-Man into the MCU. I'm really <laughs> upset they didn't put Goliath in in that movie. Because to have like a Goliath versus Ant-Man. Because yeah. they had that competition even in the Ant-Man movie where he's like, Oh, how big did you get? Oh, this is how bad I got. <laughs> and so to see them face off and be like, Oh, we got him on our side. He's just doing it for him, you know, to push the science and stuff. Because in the comics, like, he gets killed by a robotic Thor made by... Steve, uh, by Reed Richards. You could have added more, even if it's just like real quick, short stuff. And and that's the thing, the same thing, Quantumania, like just some slight alterations, like in the writing, to make the character arc better, because there wasn't really much of one, would have made it a lot better. Where like there was a legitimately struggle of like him choosing his new family over his daughter, or like redoing it with his daughter. Like that should have, that should have been the focus. And I could tell that in the commercials that they were trying to go that way but they didn't have enough footage because it wasn't there and my wife she was like i don't care about these people in the quantum mania like why it doesn't matter to me they should have made like the stakes go like if things get messed up here it there will be ripple effects and Mm -hmm. things will be messed up and then you should have seen like things too like like maybe some glitches sort of you know what i mean like once you returned or even before you're like oh hey there's something going on like showing up in the real world we need let's we have to investigate it. And it was just slight stuff. You wouldn't even have to like do too much. As we were saying about uh, Shazam 2, did you guys watch Shazam 2? I didn't. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the people that just go into a movie. I love just movies. Halfway through this one, I just I just couldn't take it anymore. I was getting frustrated. And I know whenever I'm getting frustrated and it's changing my mood, I should probably just turn it off. <laughs> uh, I made that mistake with Thor Love and Thunder. There you go. Like My wife was like, what is this shit? I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> like halfway through them. And I don't know if it's just because we have so much control now and it because of streaming and whatnot, maybe it is it is easier just to just give up on a movie. Maybe at some point I'll try to finish the movie see if I liked it, but Well, it was when you hear about the movies, that's what you what you're hearing from people is what is usually what it is, right? Like that's what's correct, which is I heard the movie's decent. You know, I heard it's not a bad movie. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's a decent sequel. I don't think it's better. It's not better than the first one, but it's not bad. It's it's still a pretty solid movie. I think it kind of just loses itself from the first one. The first one was just fantastic. Yeah. And it's like they kind of went this... They lost the character of the movie. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense, but... No, no, it does. There's this time gap, and then you feel lost and, and i'm sure if you watch the first one to the second one you're just kind of like i bet i would be more like 
this feels off. Like it just seems saying. thrown together, dude. Like for real. Like I don't know what's going on with DC, and I really hope Gunn just kills it, man. Oh, dude, because I can't wait. I'm excited. Just after us going to Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I'm like, okay, DC's going to have a chance. Well, know? even with the Suicide Squad, I was like, I could not care less about these characters. But by the end, I cared a little bit. I cared enough. But did you watch Peacemaker? Peacemaker was funny. But once again, even <laughs> that show, like, by the end of that show, I didn't really care what a lot happened to a lot of those characters. Now, was it funny? Was it entertaining? Was it enjoyable? Oh, yeah. The whole way, though, it was a fun ride. Oh. But I didn't really care. I mean, and then the extra scene or whatever The extra was scene was just so funny. <laughs> uh, did so, you watch Peacemaker? No, no. You gotta watch it just for that extra scene. I love John Cena, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's pretty... I think he's better than, than most, like, wrestler actors. Yeah. So, definitely better than one of the big ones. So. You think he's better than The Rock? Oh, no doubt, dude. The I just Rock think Rock is The Rock in everything. Rock, Rock um, signs for every movie, so it's like <laughs> he's just lost that whole like. He's not an actor. Yeah. He's just he's really he's really good on camera. Mm -hmm. He's really he's really good at playing himself. He's good at putting on a show and entertaining. I'm not saying that, but he's not an actor because he was the only one in Black Shazam. That did not have an accent. Yeah, that's true. And it true. was like, dude, how do you... Like, it, here's the thing. Like, if they would have at least put a line in there that said, oh, he doesn't... He talks like that because that's the language of the gods. Which is BS because it's... Because they're Greek, right? But the point is, like, if you would have thrown it in there, people would have been like, oh, okay, I'll buy it. Well, I think he should probably just stick with, like, some, you know, like, those random action movies like skyscraper did you ever see that no i didn't see he's that like one. jumping off a building onto another but i loved him in jumanji though the thing is yeah. i loved him oh in yeah jumanji. Jumanji. yeah, yeah. i feel like he pushed himself in that but within himself right like he was still himself but he pushed himself because have you seen central intelligence oh with, my uh, gosh with no, kevin hart? so good with kevin hart he's great in that you should check oh that out oh my gosh like, the chemistry real. between him and hart yeah like there's a reason why Jumanji happened. And he, he isn't playing him. just The Rock. Like, he's actually... You could tell, like, the the backstory is, like, he used to be, like, a heavy set dude in high school that was, like, a nerd, loser. And you kind of see that element with him in The Rock. Like, it, it's, it's good. It's good. It's I'd, so it's so good. And Chris Rock... Uh, Kevin Hart. Ke Kevin Hart. I don't know why I said Chris Rock. I just, just maybe because be of slapped? the slap. Thing. Maybe the whole slap thing slap keeps me keeps him fresh on the mind. But like uh, Kevin Hart was just his character was so funny in that movie, and they just like purposely did some stereotypes in that movie. Yes, Dad, I've seen Boys in the Hoods. <laughs> I do want to watch that movie. I'll have to find out where it's what streaming service it's on. Hopefully, it, it's not it changes. One of those. It changes every two it months. Does. Yeah, so it does. It's so dumb. I hate this thing like where they move and stuff. It's like and, I finally want to see this, and then oh, yeah, it's, and it's, it's somewhere else. To something else that I don't. I'll have to get now. But yeah, so Shazam was all right. It wasn't bad. Like if you if you're not if you gave up, you're probably like I won't say. I don't think it gets worse, but it's about consistent through the whole the movie. movie so if, if you're done you're done there's not too many movies where it's same thing with me like i could not get through morbius i could not get through it night and i wanted to watch it because i heard uh matt smith's performance was great yes, actually i heard was. like he's the best thing in that movie mm -hmm. he's the only reason to watch that movie and so i was like let me hold out for him and i i couldn't i was just like I, we ended up turning it off and then never i don't care to get back to it same thing like matrix revolutions i was watching it and i was like so bad i'm not coming back to this i won't so those I, are like the only two movies i remember like so for morbius i just took off my marvel hat and knew this was going to be low and, I, and it ex exceeded that because of matt smith and i did like some of the cool stuff in it where like his look looks perfect yeah, yeah. that's the thing is and I so, like Jared Leto's acting. I, I always have. I do think he's a good actor. Yeah. Sometimes. You can tell some roles not as good as others. Yeah. Like uh, Morbius, I was just like, no. Just saw I could see already no. I, I try to give him a shot with like Suicide Squad, but 
I feel like that was more of an editing editing thing personally. And 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 that's why even for me like I would love to see the I your cut, A your cut. Like I would love to see that because that movie just ended up coming out to be like a music video and I'm very curious to see like what his version is because similarly with Zack Schneider. Okay, so we got a cut of his movie with Joss Whedon and then we got a different cut and to me I go like it's better but this isn't a movie, this is a show. Joss Whedon had the same opportunity, which he never will get the opportunity, because I'm pretty sure he's he's out of the business now. No one wants him in the business anymore. Is that like if he would have he's better at shows, so if he would have broken something like that, or if he would have made his own justice movie, I think he would have been better. You know, like from the ground up. So that that's my argument there. I'm very curious if it would actually be better than the than Suicide Squad, the thing that they put out. WB has way too, like they just, the big heads get in there way too much. You know, as we've talked about with uh, Batgirl, we were talking about Batgirl. Like, how is it that The Flash got made and Batgirl didn't get made? And it's like, they were like, oh yeah, this isn't, and it's like, yeah, well, it's not done. Finish the movie, let them finish it, and then and edit it, and put, fine, put it on HBO Max if you need to. Actually, and, that's where I was going. Initially so it was Max. And, and Flash probably should have been put out on HBO Max because I heard that was a bomb as well. We're going to roll into anime. I'm I'm rocking our DBZ uh, shirt, inspired shirt right here. Talk nerdy to me shirt. And so there's all kinds of other ones. I've, I've put out all kinds of other shirts, which are really cool. I, I'm starting to do quotes now of, of characters. If I can find like cool quotes. So like there's one that it's my favorite. And it's where Goku says, where there's a will, there's a way. Like, I, that is my life, a life motto for me, right? Like, I say that to my kids. I say that for, like, everything. So I've thrown that on a shirt. Done um, love and peace. Love and peace, yeah. With the <laughs> Trigun, I, I've done that one. That That's... So that one's pretty sweet. I want to get that one, too. I'm going to, and I'm going to add more. And Vegeta has some cool ones, too. So, and then I just played, I bought the, whatever, like, the Kid Trunks. Like, the future trunks, but, like, the kid version, like, DLC is for the Kakarot. I just bought that and started playing that. And I've been watching the show, the Dragon Ball Super, so the kids are educated on the on our Saiyan uh, heritage. No. <laughs> but, um, but, uh... Especially since you went over 9,000 in that video. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, we have this yeah. commercial where, like, I powered up uh, with my cheesy little Vegeta... Uh, wig, which I have another one that's better. So when I level up, it's going to be to the better one, you know, and then hopefully I can get like a gold one and then level up from there and get a blue one. Or I, I really like the, the Super Saiyan God, like the red one, and they didn't show it enough in the Super Series. So I think I'm just going to have to start like reading the manga so I can, because I'm tired of waiting too for stuff to come out, uh, which I saw the movie. I did see the movie. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Mm -hmm. which was like super redundant I, it was so overhyped for me and spoiled for me on fate on well on on social media because i've i follow all that stuff for us right so and for myself but and so it got spoiled for me and overhyped and so i was like you know what i just have to watch it and then literally like the next week they're like now it's on a streaming service and i was like why did i rent it it was not worth it <laughs> like the story wasn't bad but it wasn't like but it just felt like if you would have played it out over a series right like if you would have made it as the show like it would have made way more sense and if they would have once again made some slight tweaks it would have been really well done so it's like red ram and army is back and that's like an older villain and it's also like the grandson of dr Jiro. he's like into superheroes so he makes these androids that are superheroes and he he creates them and they're stopping crime then piccolo like finds out about this scheme and they're also like remaking Cell. Even that, like that was, that could have been done way better because it was like, it was just this mindless, they were just, he was just like this mindless monster. And to me, like the best thing about Cell was that like, he was like this cold calculating a-hole that was just like, I'm just gonna destroy you guys because I'm awesome and perfect. I just, I'm showing my superiority that I'm stronger and better than everybody. I, you know, I'm a perfect Cell. That's it. Like, I really wish there was, like, a perfect Cell Max, sort of. Like, he was just a big version of Cell that was just a dumb, mindless monster. And there are some elements that they made cool, like Piccolo going big, too, like, which is something he did in the older series as a callback. That was neat. And then also Piccolo, like, him getting leveled up. But that's the thing, too. I was saying the other day, DBZ is a huge 
like workout motivation for me. Everyone in, in that series have always, or not everyone, but a lot of the people they've put in the work, right? To get to where they're at. Like, but they did kind of cheat to become Super Saiyan God, right? Like they did cheat to do that. Uh, so that one kind of like, they did cheat there, but everything going forward, like besides those minor steps, like they've always earned it. Like Piccolo, he didn't earn it. It was like, oh, he just got a wish from, from the dragon. And then even like Gohan with his beast form, like rewatch, like since I've been rewatching Super, like I, I, now I can see that they've been building up to this, right? Cause he keeps on going like, I'm going to achieve a level that none of you guys are achieving and I'm going to do it separate from being a from being a saiyan and so it really works it works really well and i and i dig it a lot and and i like the way they were going with it because at first it was because his daughter right he's so he has a daughter now and and he had a daughter in, in gt when she was being threatened he was raising his levels and that made sense when you have a kid it's just completely different i would destroy the world for my kids i, I would for sure whatever it took if he would have done the same thing for her like that would have made sense but instead it was for piccolo because piccolo like the he was getting destroyed like he almost died and my wife watched it with me she had the same thing with me it's like it doesn't feel warranted because i was like well piccolo almost died and she's like doesn't piccolo almost die all the time though and i'm like yeah that's legit you know like that's that's true so it would have made way more sense that it was his daughter that not even, like, yeah, if she was threatened with death, yeah, for sure, like, boom, that propels him into the beast, and then that makes sense. Which is very similar to a Super Saiyan 2, like, it looks similar. And like I said, once again, it, there are things that mirror, and I like that, but it just didn't feel warranted overall. And, and I hope it kind of gets redone in the show, when they when they do it. I hope they kind of redo it, because Broly was sick, right? We saw Broly together, mm -hmm. and that was sick. Everyone I talked to, they're like, that movie's so much better, like, the visuals... Totally. Every, like, every time they power up, there's so much brevity to it. And there really wasn't any plot, and yet that's so much better. So well, I think that translates to, like, the people that aren't as hardcore or, like, not even into it. They can go in and enjoy that movie because of that. Right, know? there was a lot of backstory, yes. and there was a lot of references, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of stuff going on. So now that it's on streaming, I would say check it out. If mm -hmm. you're a DBZ, DBS fan, it was not worth, it's not worth buying was not worth renting. Is there a good uh, GFE for it? Girlfriend experience? Not really, no. No. <laughs> so, because once again, there's too many references yeah. to stuff. You know, like, even like the stuff, like when they reference the, like him going bigger, like that's a Dragon Ball thing reference. Mm -hmm. Which I understand partially because of the Kakarot game, because there's a lot of references to Dragon Ball in the Kakarot game, and that's really cool to me, because to me, like, that's just more history. And I've slowly been rewatching some of that too. But I would say, you know what are worth buying though? Is our Dragon Ball Z shirts, not that movie. So yeah. instead of spending 15 bucks on that, spend 15 bucks on this. Yes, fourteen ninety nine until the end of the month. Of or, July. Of July, yes. Uh, we're always trying, that's the thing is for me, I'm looking for excuses to discount our stuff. So like, <laughs> it, I am. So like, yeah. now that the movie's out, I will probably be like, well, it would be on discount, right? So it's like Indiana, we have an Indiana Jones shirt. On discount, because the Indiana Jones movie is out. Probably Any... better than the movie. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, so same thing. Like, Ninja Turtles is coming out soon. You know, going to do that. So, but yeah, anyways. I started watching One Piece. And I didn't really know much about One I mean, I didn't know much about but I just, so I just started. And I'm like, love it right away. Like, right away. And it's old. It's old school. It reminds me a lot of Dragon Ball Z, actually. So especially the animation and voicing, because there's a lot of similar voice actors. Yeah, and you get... It's pretty cool too. Like, they actually go. They actually do a good way of going digital with the show too. Oh yeah. You'll have to see it when it happens, but because I'm sure you've noticed, like the newer stuff is completely different animation style. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, because there's a new movie out too. I think it's called Red. Yeah. Actually, the stuff you've been watching kind of relates to that movie, actually. Okay. Because. Uh, the movies don't exactly always happen the way the show does. They're mm -hmm. just kind of fun tangents. Okay. But basically, Luffy is going after Red Hair Shanks. Okay. And you see, the more you see of him is mostly in the first season. Okay, cool. He, he's the pirate guy he, lo he looks up to. All right, nice. In the flashbacks. I expected to hate it, but it's... 
but it's fun, like it's goofy, and like I said, it just reminds me a lot of like Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Well, so why is it why is it called One Piece? Do they only have one piece of armor or something? Or? There was a famous pirate. Uh, he basically w- was considered king of the pirates. He was the only one to really travel completely around the world easily, and supposedly he went farther than anyone else has ever. Goldie Rogers found the most valuable treasure of all and they call it one oh, piece okay and so, so it's like a pirate luffy, anime yeah so yeah. luffy's trying to be king of the pirates and so in order to be king of the pirates he's got to go find the one, the one piece, piece treasure oh, oh yeah it's like yeah like the big legendary like, do they have like yeah. sweet boats too in this yeah in this they, awesome. they do and it's funny because all the boats so you got different pirate captains and bit different crews each crew has like a different themed boat like uh buggy the cl- buggy he, he 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 doesn't like being called a clown but he looks like a clown <laughs> but his boat is like clown themed oh nice nice and then uh there's some other really good ones there red hair shanks boat is kind of guy with red hair and a beard <laughs> 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 Boats. But yeah, it's it's a lot of pirate lore. So like cool. even like right away there's like people you get, and you're like, Oh, I recognize this from, you know, pirate history okay. or whatever, yeah. you okay. know. Whitebeard and Blackbeard showed up in it too. Nice. Later yeah. on. Yeah, you get really a lot of cool different characters. And the way they introduce the characters are really good too. And sometimes they'll put you on for like over twenty episodes without telling you what's really going on. <laughs> Just because I can, because it's One Piece. Well, it sounds like Bleach, right? <laughs> oh. Like 300 episodes to get one thing out? <laughs> oh, this, yeah. this anime has already gone way past Bleach. Okay. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> the longest running, right? It's the longest okay. running. Like, nice. Of all time. Like, they even like did the one where Naruto stops. They do a Naruto episode in that episode. <laughs> just to, a reference, just to like say... Congrats. Well, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, I like it just because it's it's just a bunch of misfits, really, and you and it seems like they're just learning as they go. Like they're trying. Some of them like put on a show, like oh I'm awesome, I'm hardcore. But you <laughs> see, like oh they're just putting on a show and they're learning as well. Mm-hmm. So it just, you can see like all the crew is just like learning. And and even though they call themselves pirates, like this crew, like they're good because they don't really know what they're doing. So they're just playing it, you know, as they go. But they're they're good. You know, they're actually good people. And if they, they're, they're like a little rough around the edges and stuff. Wow. But yeah. But I love how like anime does that stuff, does that with stuff too. Like it's a known property, like, oh, pirates, but we're going to make it anime. And then it's like throwing all this crazy stuff that you're like, okay. You know, like they'll do the same thing with like gods, you know, like, uh, like Ragnarok, like what is it? The battle of Ragnarok and stuff or, you know, stuff like that. Like, I love it that they do stuff like that. Oh, wait till you learn more about the Navy So in there. The... Yeah, the Navy's, like, evil so so far from what I've seen. Well... The, the Marines, you know. I mean, you can really say they're evil. So... I mean, are you going to call <laughs> Luffy's grandfather evil? Well, the first guy was pretty evil. I forget what, who he was, but... But it's kind of like... The Navy, you got to kind of look at them from the point of view of... They're, they're all different officers. So it depends on which officer you run into. Even some of the assholes still have their lines that they don't want to cross. Yeah. They're, like uh, one of my favorite ones. He is a straight up asshole character. But he like. There's certain things he just won't do. But then you got to ask yourself. I understand you're protecting people. But why? Why did you do this? Like they. The Navy has some corruption in there. And there's some good people, too. And this t-shirt is sick. Like, yeah. It's, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I made this, and I, yeah, I love it. Like, I was like, I definitely want to get one for, like, probably, like, a white tank. I'll probably get, like, a white tank version of that. It's, it's cool. I like the the one piece. I'm, I'm not even a one piece person. But, well, like, the lettering's it, but just looks, legit, though. It yeah. does. It's, it's really cool. Fourteen ninety nine until the end of the month. <laughs> and yeah. then it only goes up to 20 so yep. they're still like super cheap because mm-hmm. I looked at competition and they're like at least thirty bucks usually. That's okay. the thing is like on average most shirts are like 
thirty bucks. Because we spend our money, so you don't have to. Exactly. Now yeah. we want you to spend. <laughs> no, we no, we literally do because yeah. like we have to pay to get these shirts made because it's uh, on a case by case basis. Yes. We don't have these in bulk. It's a case by case basis, so we can put any product. So if anybody has any suggestions for anything that they want. Tell us what they want. Tell us what they want it to look like even, you know. Yeah, we'll make and, it for you. if we can do it, we'll do it, especially for, like, types of products. Because people are like, joggers. I made joggers. You know, people told me underwear. I've made underwear. You know, headband. I've put headbands on there. So I'm trying to expand our library as much as possible, not just for brands. Because right now we're just in a building phase. So I'm trying to put out as many brands. We're trying to put out as many brands and then expand on each brand. Uh, mm -hmm. for the kinds of products. So right now it's mainly shirts, tanks, uh, but uh, we're slowly expanding like to joggers and hoodies and like I said, headbands and stuff like that. And hats. So yeah, Fox. hats too. Hats. Yeah. Yeah. That Pokemon hat yeah. turned out to be pretty sweet. Yeah. It's cool. It's, it's embroidered, which man, I, I didn't, when we, when we ordered this, I was kind of hesitant to see like if it was just gonna be cheap or not. Surprisingly not. And it's very breathable. You know, it's a trucker hat. It's, it's very good. Man. And it's Especially, the Ash Ketchum colors. It is. Like, you don't have to get the Ash Ketchum colors because there's so many different options, but that one is... I was expecting the Ash symbol or whatever that <laughs> is. Whatever that is. Uh, but did you guys know that Pokemon Go has this little device that you could connect to your app now where it looks like a little Pokeball and it connects to you so you don't have to have your phone out the whole time searching for Pokemon. If you get one, it tells you, it kind of vibrates on you. And it has like the you know Pika you know like yeah. the Pikachu you know, like the Pikachu noise or whatever uh, Pokemon you have. Yeah, it says it. So no way. Check that out. Like I I saw that yesterday on TikTok. Sorry, random. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's that yeah. is really cool. No, that was I'm glad we actually talked about something that was Pokemon related. So. Yeah, totally. Especially since it's Go, if you're a goer, or whatever they call them themselves. That alone makes me want to get back into Pokemon Go, because yeah, it's, it's cool. just, it's fun. It's fun, yeah. like, if you're on a weight loss journey, like I'm trying to be soon, and maybe that'd be something I should invest in. Yeah, I was playing a lot for a while, but then they took away, like, where I couldn't get... I was I couldn't get any balls. Well, if I don't have balls, then what's the point of playing? Yeah, what this is anymore? the point of the game? Yeah. The stop I was going to, that's like I would get one ball, and I'd be like, "Oh, great! So I can catch one Pokemon." Super, like, what a waste. Before COVID, the place I was working, I could like go through all kinds of Pokestops by on the way home, and that's what I would do. Even one time, I got pulled over by an officer, wondering what I was doing for strange <laughs> behavior, and, and I was swerving. <laughs> <laughs> because I was in a parking lot and it looked like I was being suspicious, like trying oh, okay. to get away from an officer. <laughs> but the officer it's looked at from him. The officer <laughs> looks at my down. phone. He started laughing. He's like, "Don't worry, you're good, man." He like good... John wakes the whole police force while playing P Pokemon Go by accident. <laughs> let's just let's just be real though. I bet you cops were playing this game too on duty. I think when it came out, though, it was huge. Yeah. Like remember, everyone was playing it and it was really cool. I bet it was probably bigger during the pandemic because, like, people... I remember seeing families and people walking their dogs a lot more and going out with their families and doing a lot of physical activity. And there was no... Like, the pollution went down. And then corporate America was like, F that. We gotta get you back to work and destroy Earth. <laughs> <laughs> so we can make that well, fat money. stacks of yeah. fatty. <laughs> so, yeah. But we do have a lot more anime-inspired merch on our website. It's tntmtheshow.com. I made a Avatar Last Airbender shirt. I mean, if you want to consider that like an American anime. Uh, it's American anime. Yeah. yeah. What else do we have? We have Sailor Moon. We have We need to make one of Bleach. each element because I think everyone yes. has their elements. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's a great... Do that's a talk nerdy to me and then the element what below. What about Lava Bend? Because everyone has their different ones. Yeah, Lava Bend. <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, I mean, I want, obviously I want, that's part of... Is that fire. Earth, earth or... Bending. Oh, Earth. Yeah, it's that's right. It's Earth. Okay, yeah, see, that's... It's the Bloodbender too like, for the water? Yes. And that's why I don't think I'm a water bender because I'm like... I'm that's not too about dark that for blood, you. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I think I'm water. All the, I mean, I think I'm air all the way. I would shave my head. And, actually, I want to do. You know, it'd be sick if I actually cut my hair in the arrow and then wore the shirt. Like I want to do that <laughs> and then rot and then, like I, I wish I could do that at work, but I could probably do that at the gym. So I'll, I'll get there eventually. I don't know. Firebending, like just the idea of its origins, is like 
pretty uh, deep and cool. All of them are really awesome, mm-hmm. dude. Like it I is. love like that whole series, like Top, and then even the follow up series. Uh, Legend was really, of Korra was Korra great. Was really yeah. pretty mm-hmm. solid. Like. Rewa- like watching it the first time I was like uh, you know but you rewatch it and you see the strength of it like it it's I mean they both have rewatchability but like it's a lot better on the second watch it's, it's a really good series you know what I'm wondering when they make Frozen 3 are they just gonna call it The Legend of Korra <laughs> <laughs> because you know because she's second, an ice bender right because right Frozen <laughs> 2 you know they decided to have the Avatar bring balance but then have him be an ice bender didn't make much sense but that's what they did mm. so if they're gonna keep going the avatar theme <laughs> it would be legend of korra next yeah yeah for sure did anyone we'll caught see. on that when they watched frozen 2 i think was it you that told me that yeah. or was it you it wasn't it must have been him it must have been, i've only heard about it you know what I mean? yeah i think maybe my wife too just because you know she knows both she's like both because it's our anime month dude i've done a deep dive into this and i really love this because I have been doing deep dives. I've gotten into the music. Like, I've gotten into the music hardcore. Because, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I think that Tank from Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop, Bebop, hands down the best. Like, it's... I think it just stands so far apart from everything else. Like, there's tons of great stuff, but, like, it's jazzy. It doesn't sound like anything else, right? Like, some of them sound like kind of, like, classic. Or, like, some of them sound like rap. Or, you know, like, there's like there's just a lot... And then there's, like, your metal ones... There's a similar, there's a lot of similar ones. Tank doesn't sound like anything else. The Cowboy Bebop one doesn't sound like, okay, maybe Samurai Shampoo. But that's as close, well, right? Well, like, they were created by the same Right, team. right, right, right. <laughs> I think that one's the best. I well, mean, Sailor Moon has a Samurai great one, Shampoo too. Samurai kind of adds a little bit of hip-hop into it. Too. Yeah, yeah, right. It, it is pretty cool. Definitely, if anyone has not seen that and like Cowboy Bebop, it's worth watching. It's oh, different. Sure. It's very different, but a fun show. Good uh, plot twist, too. But yeah, uh, so yeah, there's a, I mean, there's so many good ones out there, but yeah, Sailor Moon is another epic one. Like, it's just great. Have you watched the Sailor Moon movies that came out during no. the pandemic? No, I, no, I didn't. So, Crystal, I say watch it. Just remember, season one has really bad CGI. You just got to get past it. Season two, it gets a little better. But then you get to the movies, and it's, like, the best Sailor Moon animation you'll ever see. Okay. Like, it's really top-notch. It's a cross between, like, good CGI and classic Sailor Moon animation. Both movies. I'm not even a Sailor Moon fan. I just, that song is just epic. You know, like, that's how big it is, that I just love the song. You know what? Gundam. I love the Gundam, the... Yeah, like that whole like oh that beat is so sick i love it uh, would... oh my god berserk has another sick one yeah. that one's metal uh that one's freaking hardcore going through it so bleach we've talked about we have some bleach shirts and i've there is a new bleach show out i've been watching it i feel like you have to know about bleach to get into it because if you're if you don't know of bleach at least like it's confusing i feel like they do a good job if you're new because they're talking about all this stuff pretty well like a lot of exposition but at the same time i feel like because i know of bleach i haven't watched all of it and i and i love it i, I dig it and actually i made a shirt of it it's really awesome so it's it's a i made a few shirts one that just says talking to me in the bleach lettering and then it ha, uh says ichigo under i did another one that's talking to me and then it has an ichigo quote and it's so awesome it says don't break somebody's heart they only have one break their bones they have 206 that is so awesome dude like when i was thinking i was just like it's such a it's such a hardcore quote that i was like any like i feel like any dude that's like thinks he's an alpha will want this shirt you know but like yeah i'm gonna break your bones or like you know just like anybody that's like into all this you know wrestling stuff uh mma because like it's just hardcore but to me like the nerd i go like that's a hardcore it's cool right like i feel like that's a perfect gym shirt to gym motivation shirt right there so i might get that in a tank as well uh or just get up here because it's just so hardcore it's it's a pretty solid show visuals look awesome same voice acting crew i think for the show so i think that one's definitely worth checking out Trigun also has a new, I don't know if it's like a reboot or a relaunch, but like it is a new visuals. So it's like that 3D CG, but it's the same uh, voice actor. 
so and like the personality's perfect. And I just oh man, I love Bash the Stampede. Like he's so yeah. he's just like a goofy idiot, you know, like and like pretending not like he and he's just so awesome. He's and and so we made some of those like you said the Trigun Love and Peace shirts with their lettering. Oh, and it looks so cool. I was like, man, I can't. I I really want to get one of those shirts too. Once again, I'm like regular shirt or tank top. I feel like tank top, but tank tops are are the thing to do like right now, especially for like the gym. That, that it's I I've only seen like maybe an episode or two of that. It was really cool. I have to watch more. Uh, and a guy from work actually told me about that, and so he gave me the idea to make the tri gun. Uh, stuff so I was like heck yeah I need to get caught up on Black Clover because there's a Black Clover movie out so I was like I need to get caught up and I dude I just love Black Clover because it's about these it's really about these brothers but it mainly focuses on one of the brothers now well they're not actually biological yeah they're brothers. not biological brothers they were just but... dropped off at the same orphanage at the same time so I just want to say orphanage every time just because of Black Dynamite <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, but yeah, you are you are correct. One of them, like he is naturally gifted with magic power, right? Like that's in this universe. Like if you don't have magic power, like you're pretty much a loser, and no one wants anything to do with you. And that's what the other brother, like he has no magic power, but the dude is just hardworking, right? Like he's always working out, you know. I, I and, like the girl, and he's a smaller dude. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of ch ch the one that she has like the, the ice royalty powers? one, yeah. The yes, one. yes, yes. I can never remember her I name. I think I want to see her name is with an N or something like that, like Novelia or Natalia or something like that. She's from like a line of very powerful magic users, but she has no control over her magic. Right, she's super powerful, but she doesn't know how to control it. And even that, like seeing her arc, which is really because of the main character the, who has no power. He they build off of each other. Right, like they right, they build each other up back and forth and that's so cool to see that, dude. Like to And what's his face? The one with the bike room. That guy's cool too. The firepower one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking that about. That guy is so funny. He's, he's just like a goof, but he's a goof though. He's just like a goof. But he is. He is powerful. He is powerful, but he's just like a another like goofy idiot but different you know like he's not like the best like vash is like no just you know no, the, the best. best is um luck so that kid is uh, that guy's ridiculous in black clover the lightning guy yeah yeah who like really almost has no morality which makes it hard to be on a team with him is that the one where he's like obsessed with his mom right he's obsessed with just no not the one that's just obsessed with like hurting people. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> not not the <laughs> not the one obsessed with his sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, the there's sister. that one too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's there's messed there's some messed up stuff in anime. Like it gets weird. Like even like Sword Art Online, which we also have a shirt of. Like there's a lot of like weird brother sister love going on, but I don't think they're related either in that one. But they grew up together, so it's weird too. It's like Dexter Morgan and, and the sister. You're like. Yeah. I don't know if it's okay, is it? I don't know. It's weird. But yeah. Kind of like when you watch... <laughs> kind of like what made it hard to watch the Flash CW show. Barry and Iris get married. And it's like, they were raised in the same household. Called the same du dude their dad. It's wrong. Yeah. Even though they're not related. Yeah. It's wrong. That is weird. So... <laughs> But, <laughs> but anyway, Black Clover. <laughs> but yeah, Black Clover. So I, I just love the character. So, but he ends up getting like this, some sort of demonic sword, and then like so his his magic. So that 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 sword cancels out magic. So he's this unknown factor. He's a wild card, right? Like he's this wild card. And so, but the thing that I love most about him is one, he has white hair. I don't know what's up with characters with white hair. Like they always being like these awesome, like even Dante from. And that's why I love him. Like, in other anime characters, like, if they have white hair, they're awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's either white hair or red hair, it seems like. Like, you're awesome. The thing is, is the dude does not give up. In this one fight, like, he literally cannot lift his arms. Like, this lady is literally using puppet strings to use him, and he's like, I don't care. Like, use me. Like, I'm... He's like, he's, like, still fighting, dude. Like, he can't even, like, move. And he's like, 
I will not like he's bloody. He's he has like broken bones. Like he will not give up. Like he does not care, dude. And that's what I love about that character. And so I made a quote shirt of his in, in their style of lettering. It's like an old English style. And it says, my magic is never giving up. Another one, like, gym motivation. I'm going to have to get that one in, like, a, and probably in a, in a tank for sure so I can rock that one. Because, once again, it's like, yeah, it's, you can tell it's, like, it's nerdy. But, like, the giving up part, like, is, you know, never giving up. Like, that's the part that matters, right? Like, anyone well, can recognize Asta that. works out a ton, too. Right, yeah, he does. Keep up with everything. Right, like, that's why he can man, he can man these, like, legit like swords that are like huge you know and ridiculous i would say like final fantasy 7 size swords yeah yeah those are sick. they're pretty ridiculous yeah. so oh, we also have inuyasha gear to you right yes my yeah. wife is loves inuyasha so Kagome! i mean yeah to me that I, I i will come up with another shirt at some point where it's those two yelling at each other I just have to find a way around, like, the rights licensing situation because I don't want to rip anybody off. I mean, yeah, our whole thing is kind of ripping everybody off, but but at the same time, like... <laughs> but not. <laughs> but not legally, right? Yeah, yeah not legally. Like, and, and if we have to buy the right, if we have to buy the rights to make certain stuff, we're not there yet financially. I, I think we'll get there. Well, hopefully we will within, like, a year or two, but right now building blocks are starting at the bottom and hopefully we'll get there and we can have more stuff make it more legit as it goes on but yeah so it just says like it does it's the inuyasha lettering and then one says inuyasha and then the other one says kagome because they're always yelling at each other so i want to get the inuyasha one so that me and my wife can just yell at each other <laughs> <laughs> yell for each other um my wife was like i got it that for her birthday and she was like why did you get me this? <laughs> and I was like, because you're a female and you like that show. That's why. You know, I was like, I'll get the other one eventually. We have uh, Naruto too. I don't know if you guys watch that. I actually, I've watched it with the kiddo a lot. Not a fan. I've watched like up to season five. But, and everyone says like, oh, the next series is where it gets good. And I'm like, yeah. oh, sorry, I don't want to. Like, I have Waste to watch seasons. seven yeah. seasons of a show that I'm. I won't hate. I don't hate it, but I just go like. To me, he's just annoying. Like Naruto is annoying, and even I, I feel like all the characters are annoying. The only characters that aren't annoying are the adult characters, right? Like Kakashi Sensei, like he's awesome. What's his name? The pervy sage, like he's my favorite. I kind of want to make sure that it says pervy sage. Actually, I probably will make sure that it says pervy sage for myself because I, I like him. Like the masters are cool, but like the kids are just annoying to me. Like all of them are. Like, Ugh, like Sasuke is such an he's like the annoying emo kid you know like not even the good kind and then there's just so much filler that I'm just like oh my god why like just get to the point already like it's I, I just I, I've lost interest so many times and I keep trying to get back in I just I can't like I, the jutsus are cool like I probably I'll make another one I'll probably make another shirt that says sexy jutsu and another one that says like shadow clone jutsu for twins that would be cool for like twins to wear shirts that say <laughs> shadow clone jutsu like, that would be legit you know what i should get one and send them to the a1 twins <laughs> um, <laughs> i shouldn't just uh, that would be so legit yeah there's there we have like so many so many shirts on there uh and do we have a do we have a spyx family one we don't someone just told me about spyx family my wife did and i was like wife Someone told me about this at work before you did. <laughs> You're slacking. Because she follows all the newest anime. Like, I was looking for this new show, the lettering for this new show called Hell's Paradise. Have you seen it? Not yet. It's really, really awesome. So this show is about, like, it's feudal Japan. These, like, sword, they're like sword testers and they're executioners. And they're gathering up all the worst of the worst criminals to go to this island that supposedly has this elixir of life that they discovered. And this island is just these horrible monsters, like the insects. They, if they like bite you, like you turn into a plant. Like it's super creepy. Kind of reminds me of like Last of Us, sort of like, but they're like plants instead of like. I mean, kind of are like that. It's it's like really. And then there's these giant monsters that like to be like giant Buddha monster, or, like all these different, like all these different weird creatures. And it's kind of like a fighting, like a shonen anime. It's really cool, and a lot of people get killed in that one. But it's really cool. It's really awesome. I, and I like it. Like the first season's over. It was, it was really, really solid. And so I want to make some shirts of that and kind of be like ahead of the curve. But I can't find a lettering of it because it's so brand new. And I've seen like they already have statues of it. There's cosplays of one of the chicks of it already. So, but yeah, that one's really cool. And like I said, Spy X, I need to check that show out. It's so, a good show. We've watched the first two seasons. My wife's like, it. I'm not a fan. 
but <laughs> she's a, kind of a, like an anime snob, but she likes her thing. It's, it's really well done. There, there's certain characters that are more likable than others in that one. Yeah. But the whole premise is pretty funny. Guy that's, a, guy that's a spy needs to like have a fake family to be able to do his next job. <laughs> so he has to find a, find a woman to marry and a daughter to adopt to be able to get to this prestigious school so he can spy on uh, higher level diplomats. And so he finds a woman. What he doesn't know is she's an assassin. Okay. And then the kid has psychic powers and he doesn't know because she was uh, tested on. It reminds me of that movie with, is it Ryan Reynolds where he's like dating this girl and she turns out to be a spy? I th- it's like I, a recent Yeah, because I was like thinking of that too. It was a recent movie. Was it the one with The Rock? <laughs> he's in everything so no. <laughs> it's hard like you just throw a dart on a map and end up on a, a rock movie well, he, he's he's the modern day Samuel L. Jackson uh, Samuel L. Jackson's finally got like pickier with his stuff but it used to be Samuel L. Jackson would be in just about anything that they would offer him now it's the rock speaking of secret invasion so, like, that show's really... So, the first episode was... It wasn't bad. It was just weird because he was acting weird. But, like, he's been... He was... He was... Blipped. Ugh. And then he came back and then he went into space for, like, five years and now he's back. So they, that's how they explain him acting weird. They're like, well, you were killed and then you kind of ran away. So, the first one... But it does end with a really crazy spoiler at the end. Uh, I don't want to ruin it, but it was really good. And then the second episode stepped it up was even better than the first episode third episode even better than the second and another spoiler for that one i don't want to reveal that so are they just going around investigating like stuff like for blips or no it's it is i mean it's don't say blip again yeah i know (laughs) it just i I cringe cringe. every time i hear it yeah well yeah yeah (laughs) it was like the worst thing to come out of spider-man uh Far from home. Right. I don't know why they stuck with it. I don't know why they came with the, went with that at all. But well, it's called poor writing, and they wanted. Unfortunately, this comedic. is one of the it few. Comedic. sounds comedic. Well, fortunately, this is one of the few things I do have gripe with the Russo brothers about. Like with Endgame, it would have been better if they would have just done it without the time passing, because that just put in like. All the stupid, convoluted bullshit that we see in the MCU right now. Yeah. I Don't get me wrong, I like Endgame, but that was one of the bad things that come out of Endgame. Okay, so I guess what I'm saying is, like, are, is he going around investigating, like, potential... Scrolls? Yeah. It's not exactly based off of the, the comics, right? And they... I seen that in an interview and I was like, all right, all right. Oh, so it's not. Okay. It's not exactly. Are the scrolls at least <laughs> I didn't know somewhat that. <laughs> evil now? But but this is so but this is the this is the this is the basis of the show though. Is so and, and they do reference this, it's like flashbacks to Captain Marvel, which is so they just brought on those few refugee refugees, right? And he's like, Be my spy network. Well, when he disappeared, it was all up in the air. So he told everybody else, he told all the other scrolls, like, hey, this is a safe space. What's his name? Gravik, I think, right? He told everyone else, like, hey, it's a safe space, and Nick Fury's not here, so what are they going to do about it? So they all came to Earth. So now there's, like, a million scrolls. So you legitimately, and, and they're taking, they took other people's faces, right? So... You don't, you legitimately don't know who is a scroll and who is not a scroll. And so I was like, okay, so this isn't that far off from it. But here's the thing is, is that one of the little boys that they show, he was one of the little boys that was saved. He's a psychopath. I'm just going to get the humans to fight each other and kill each other. But they're also creating, he's creating a weapon to make it to like, to kill all the humans off so that it, they can take over and it becomes a hu- uh, scroll planet, right? Like that's his plan, right? Like that's this guy's plan. This kid, this kid that has grown up now. That's what they're trying to stop, right? Like so, those are the stakes. Like all humanity gonna be killed, and then as well as like they're trying to stop these things from happening, of 
you know, these, of, to getting humans fighting each other, you know, like Americans, Russians, you know, and, and all these other different things, so right? So basically, they need to find Star-Lord, so Star-Lord can give them an empty planet. So, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, he's, he's just that home-eating cereal <laughs> with <the> grandpa. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if it's going to end that way. That would be funny <laughs> uh, and kind of cool. It's just this but, uh, yeah, and then he has his own uh, his own movie, spin-off movie. It's, it, but it's been really good. It has, it's been really crazy because you're like, is this, because every time you see a character, is this them or is this a scroll, right? Like even when they get, you only know when it's a scroll if they die and then you see them turn into a scroll, right? Like that's it. That's the only thing. There's other characters they've even killed off and mentioned, and I go like, I think they're scrolls, but I'm not sure. But because I haven't seen the body, I don't know if they're a scroll. It's, it's, it's so it still keeps you wondering about characters that they did kill off, and and, and of course going forward, and and it is crazy. Do you think how, it like, is? Is it setting up for like the movies? Because I I. I think it's probably gonna set up for the Marvels, I think, yeah. but I'm not sure because once again, this might be a One Division DS Mom situation, which is they were being made at the same time, so they really followed the same character arc. Even though one came out before the other, they didn't know what they were. They didn't know how that was gonna end or what happened there, so then they couldn't change theirs or alter theirs based off of how that ended. So it might be a similar situation. We'll see how Secret Invasion, if it goes like, if it ends up that same with that same problem. And do you know yeah. if they're doing, what, just eight episodes or like six? Uh, I don't even know, actually. I need to check. I need to find out. Yeah. But it's been a pretty, pretty solid series. I think there's four episodes at this exact time, which is the 16th. The 16th. Yep. That's where it's at right now. It is, like I said, it's pretty solid. I definitely suggest it. It's been, it's been good. I feel like the acting's gotten better. The action's gotten better. Uh, it's got just gotten more intense and been pretty. It's gotten crazier as it's gone on. I don't know if other people watch it this way, but I kind of like wait until the end and then I'll just binge it. Yeah, a yeah. lot of people. That's why I've that's talked to people. Because like, well, then I just forget episode to episode, even though they'll have like their recaps. I'll still forget. Like, oh crap, you know. The but, only. The only real recent show I didn't do that with was Last of Us. <laughs> so good. Such Last a good of show. Us was so good. But see, that's why if you follow Pablo Gunner on TikTok, he'll give you a recap and a review. That way, and then you don't have to. Huh? <laughs> a little shameless. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen Visions? No. No. We're slacking as nerds here. Star Wars Visions, for people that know, know. And we have tons of Star Wars merch. But yeah, so Star Wars Visions... It's season two, and I only have a couple TikToks out of it so far. And they're really just shorts. I feel like they're just showcasing different uh, animated teams, sort of like in or in different places, right? Like the like one will be like a feudal Japan style, another one will be Celtic, another one will be more of like a like a native representation or native theme. Kind of just random one-offs, and they're shorts too. And I've noticed the kids get really sucked into them. Like, they really enjoy them. They're super short. It sucks their attention in really well. And they're short, so it really doesn't... They're only, like, 15, 30 minutes. So, and the art's just phenomenal, and the voice acting's top-notch, and it's different. It gives you variety. And I love that it gives people the opportunity to give their idea of what Star Wars is, what the Force is. One of them is... It's this girl, and she's child labor right and we're even seeing that in our own society in america even right and republican states are lowering the age so that uh you know younger people can work and stuff and this girl's like i want out i want out of this life i'm done and she has this medallion and she's like this thing's calling to me it gives me peace i'm gonna go to this place and, and she and i go oh like she's being called to the, to the light to get her away from this dark place ends up being the opposite that there's a Sith that's calling her and they're use this as a trial to take down like another Sith and that was their little trial and go now you choose us you choose me and being selfish and going doing what you want to do or staying with your friends and, and going back to this horrible life and possibly helping them you know, like the first episode of this lady and that one was like watercolors style and it was an old master coming to get her and saying like, hey, you need to fulfill your oath and like beat me and become the master. And she's like, I'm, I'm not that. But she can't push away the darkness either, right? Like she's like, I'm both. And it was cool because she has, oh, uh, it was really cool. So, and, and that one like, that was, that one was really cool too. So, but yeah, really solid so far. 
like I said, where there's like kind of like an Eskimo kind of native theme going, and that one was pretty neat too, but I like it's been a while, so I need to like rewatch it. But that one's been pretty solid, so like, yeah, for sure. We're probably gonna be Doers merch when Ahsoka comes out. So keep an eye out for that. People are buying our merch when it's not on sale. But if they want to pay more, which it's not we'll that worth, we'll right? It, like yeah. for a lot of our stuff. So we do have reasonably prices. They're you know, I've been comparing and I, I feel like we have fair very fair prices. So we try to pass on the savings to you at the same time, you know, this is this has been a hobby for us and it's turned into not to move this route and hopefully this helps us do even more fun stuff for you guys. Yeah.